your body. You are 13, but you look 30. Head itch, back itch, eyes change, dizzy and feel sleepy. What should I do? What's wrong with me? Am I getting older? Hello and a very good day. I beat to the Mr. Speaker, punctual timekeepers, wives, educators, and last but not least, my respected audiences. Thank you for having me. My name is Zaradini Binti Muhammad Yahya and I am going to be speaking to you today about your health is your wealth. To begin, let's focus why health is considering your wealth. Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. The word health refers to a, to a state of complete emotional, mental and physical well-being. The enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health is one of the fundamental rights of every human being without distinction of race, religion, political belief, economic or social condition. That's what we meant by your health is your wealth. We used to see old people jogging, uh, jogging healthily as healthy as young people while strolling in the garden. The most common question generally arises in our mind is how do they manage to have a healthy body at, at their age to do all sorts of activities. Physical health is a vital part of, our, of supporting our overall mental health and well-being. If we spend our lives rushing around and forgetting to take care of ourselves physically, this can also have an impact not only on our physical health, but also our, our overall well-being as well as our mental health. Being healthy doesn't have to be complicated. Sleep is vital for so many of our body's processes. It enables us to recharge, refresh, repair, and restore. It is recommended that we get around 7 to 9 hours of sleep a night. When we don't get enough sleep, this can affect a number of things including our ability to concentrate, our mood, and our appetite, and even our social life. Not getting enough sleep over a long period of time can also impact our mental health, our coping mechanism, and may also lead to a long-term effect on our body abilities to function effectively. Some of us may experience tr trouble getting asleep or trouble staying asleep. This may be due to stress, anxiety, we consume like alcohol or caffeine or other causes. To understand this better, take a look at the NHS Every Mind Matters Guide to Sleep Problems and Insomnia. It's not just about sleep. Getting enough rest is also an important part of physical health. This is about balance. So, how can we do this? By bringing awareness to our routines, understanding what we may be, maybe, we may be exerting ourselves without a break, and taking some time to rest will support our whole health. It also gives our body time to repair and prevents injury. Mental health is a state of mental well-being that enables us to cope with the stresses of life, realize our abilities, learn well and work well, and contribute to our community. Mental well-being underpins our ability to respond, our resilience when things get tough, our relationship with ourselves and others, and how we shape the world we live in. Mental health is a basic human right and it is more than the absence of mental disorders. Mental health and well-being is personal. It differs from one person to the next. So, our approach to our own mental well-being should also be personal. Social well-being is about belonging, it's about connection, sharing and developing healthy and meaningful relationship with others, with your community and how we contribute to society. Supporting others starts with supporting ourselves. We can only really show up for others when we've taken care of ourselves by looking, af by looking after our physical health, mental health and well-being every day, as well as developing our place in society. We are taking steps to support not only ourselves, but also those that are around us. At the beginning of the page passage, the phrase, health is wealth is used. This phrase means that health is the, most is the most important thing in our life. If you are not healthy, you cannot achieve anything in your life. So, health is our true wealth. With that, I end my speech with thank you.